Hello, and welcome to my first Animal Crossing Island tour. This island that I am touring is called Sakura Isles, and it is my very first Animal Crossing Island created in January 6, 2021. I have since deleted the island, and so we are doing this tour via Dream Address, as well as other islands that I have done. My only problem is the coloring is off throughout the entire video, and I use OBS, and I have no idea how to fix it. So, right here, I'm showing you my entrance. So nothing too exciting to talk about. And then the beach is dedicated to my dog that passed away. So it's like a little mini dog park. Anyways, the coloring is off. And so a lot of the stuff looks really, really orange. And it is not supposed to be that orange. Every It's almost like the vibrancy is turned up or something. And I don't know how to fix that. So if anyone who uses OBS could tell me how to fix that, I'd appreciate it. Because I don't know how to fix it. My Halloween area. I have to re-record everything I just did because my daughter came walking in a room being all loud and I didn't want that in the background. So I'm doing this again. This is Maple's area. Um, that's Minnie, Minnie's character from the arcade that I have. And that reminded me to show you my map. And, um... I have to adjust it a little bit because, I'm, as I said, I'm still learning how to work OBS. Sorry about that. <coughs> so I have me, my husband, and I, my daughter, my other daughter, and my son. And um, I'm doing a voiceover because I realized my voice... My OBS did not record my voice, so actually this is the third time I'm having to do some kind of voiceover for this now. Because I don't know why the sound is off in OBS and why I can't, it's not picking me up talking or anything. So, yeah, this is a honey cafe. I was so excited talking about the bridge. I changed so much. I had flattened and changed everything on the island and the original theme. The first theme I went with was supposed to be Sakura flowers, you know, based off of the cherry blossom stuff. Because I thought that you bought cherry blossom trees for the island and that was a plan. But I didn't realize the trees would change with the season. Found that out later. Then I just did spring core for most of my time. And then a little bit of forest core. I tried to do enchanted forest um, changed my garden, moved it, like, about ten times. This is the finished garden that I finally just settled with. <laughs> and my coffee shop. This entire tour is pre-2.0, so there is no 2.0 update stuff in this. This is my very first island. I just started last year. The other thing that I'm gonna, you'll notice I'll pause and complain, look like I'm complaining a lot, or like, like I'm stopping to talk is I noticed that there were extra sticks and extra fossils buried in the ground. All those things that I know for a fact I cleaned up before I made a dream address. So I don't know why that happened. I don't know why some of the flowers duplicated in certain places. It doesn't make sense and it's really making me mad um, that they duplicated. Talking to Filbert. He was actually one of my newest villagers on this island before I quit. And restart it. And here's him getting in my way. And this is me wishing I had a net so I can smack him. Um, this is Bay's house. I couldn't remember whose house it was. Originally it used to be Julian. But then I got rid of him for Bay. So that a deer would match my autumn theme better. Now I just wish I would have just left it. And just kept Julian. But like you'll see there's sticks all over the place and I keep picking them up and I'm picking up weeds that are not supposed to be in certain spots and just highly irritated that I did that. Does anybody know why, even though I saved after I cleaned up my island, that there's a huge mess in my dream address? Like weeds not where they're supposed to be, fossils buried in the ground, extra flowers duplicating and spots they're not supposed to duplicate. Like, it doesn't make sense. Here is my son's arcade. So, pre-2.0 update, that means everything is going to be kind of basic, you know? Animal Crossing before the 2.0 update was pretty basic. 
It had a lot, but it was still basic. <laughs> like, you couldn't cook, you couldn't farm. There's a lot you could do. The DLC wasn't out, so you couldn't, you know, design, change the design of your houses to something else, like a log cabin, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I have a lot. Of, this is, I was talking to you about the uh, apple cider farm. Then I was ranting about what I didn't know what this is and how I thought it was a pumpkin pie area. But then I realized I think I made two pumpkin pie areas, so I was complaining about that. This is my yard. My yard space. I linger a lot. <coughs> this is my house. I do not show you what's inside. If you want to see what's inside, you're going to have to visit the dream address because... This is already a 20 minute long video, even with editing, it's still 20 minute long. I sped it up and I cropped some stuff out in the beginning. The secret beach, uh, second entrance to the campsite. <coughs> <coughs> I also get stuck on stuff. I apologize for coughing. I have COVID and I'm still getting over it. There is my campsite. I've moved this campsite three times now. This is my lavender farm. I'm so proud of this. I was so proud of this. E, I love it. I used to enter so many contests um, where you take a picture of the, the themed area and then you put it in and you have people vote for your favorite. And I've always come so close to winning, but no cigar. I didn't win. It was just a trip to, like, a Treasure Island, which back before I realized they were on Twitch for free and I could subscribe with Prime, I was really struggling to get on them. I even paid for some through SD, which was, which I know is dumb. The only benefit of it is that I have the island all to myself and I don't have to wait in line to fly in and fly out, you know? But, yeah. Here's inside the apple cider bar. And I accidentally walk upstairs at some point, so you'll see my child's bedroom design too, which is a lot of red. Even though that's not her favorite color, I did red because apple cider, apples are red. Yeah. So I did a lot of red in her room because I had the complete red cute set. So, you know, red and pink size, so just like I might as well do it. She likes pink, but yeah. And again, I wish I could cut out these little um, scenes in between exiting and entering buildings, but I honestly do not know how to do that. So that's the apple cider barn. Here's my farm, my pumpkin farm that I did based off of a Pinterest photo. Um, and yeah, picnic. There's me irritated at the star on the ground. This is me talking about Goldie. Um, I really feel like I didn't spend enough time showing you guys the pumpkin farm. I don't know. This is back down to my entrance. And this is where my residence services is. You can see it was a dream address. You can see I entered in a dream. I didn't know what to do with this area. I just did like a little farmer's market type eatery thing. I had no idea. I never know how to decorate residence services or any of the stores. Either it's just, then I decided to go on a five minute tangent about how I had Poppy in the beginning and then got rid of her from Mary who was in my campsite and then I didn't like Mary's house so I got rid of Mary and brought back Poppy. So huge waste of time. She lasted like two days before I got tired of her. And that was a wedding area and this is the reception area slash, you know, kids hangout area. You know, and kids, kids and wedding, I don't know. Again, don't know how to do beach designs, don't know what to put on beach, so I just made it really overgrown. And I use a lot of flowers. <laughs> Lots of flowers. On every island I do. There's always going to be a ton of flowers. This is my piss poor attempt at a lake. Well, not really a lake, a pond. It's supposed to be a pond, but like I didn't know what to put here, and I've changed it so many times. Like I said, I've flattened and read this entire island, but there's pits and parts that I've flattened multiple times. This is my mushroom farm and a picnic area. And here is inside my bakery. My son almost interrupted me. If I had to do this one more time, I'm gonna rage. This is inside my bakery. 
use Sanrio items and Mom's Day items, and then I walked downstairs. <coughs> <coughs> Walk downstairs to show you the cafe. You know, the little cafe, one of the little cafe nooks. I came into the bathroom to come and do this in peace and quiet, and I keep getting interrupted. Ugh, like, I can't go anywhere to record. This is my Pride Beach. Um, this is an LGBTQ plus friendly channel. I myself am non binary specifically a gender i go by they them pronouns um also pan romantic and ace yeah not that y'all want to know but now you know this is a safe channel for that lgbtq plus community any hate homophobic transphobic crap will not be tolerated this is a garden area with a greenhouse so think botanical gardens on the outside, like a little sit down area outside. And then inside is the greenhouse in the back specifically is where I put most of the greenery, like what I had. I like finished this house at the last second at the very end of August, right before I deleted the island. Originally, this house was a mermaid cafe. And then since I changed my theme to Spring Corn and Forest Curl, I was like, eh, I don't want a mermaid cafe. I don't like it. So I got rid of it. Undid everything. So I have a ton of mermaid stuff sitting in storage because this I originally made so much mermaid stuff. Um, I put a spa in here. I don't know why. And I used what wallpapers I had. Sahara hates me and never gives me the good ones. So I used what I had. And I'm so sorry for all the coughing. Ak having to talk more is making me cough. Here is my very first strawberry patch. And an overgrown beach. And a, I don't I didn't know what to put on the background, so I just put random stuff and hoped for the best. And then we got an Alice. Oh wait, I'm gonna talk to Serenity first. Yep, I gotta try my apple cider. Okay. Then we got this. Alice in Wonderland type tea party area. I don't know. It it doesn't go with autumn really, but I wanted it, so it's there. Because originally it was, you know, Alice in Wonderland spring, but then I changed it to autumn. So and here is me trying to show you my rock garden and failing at it for like ten minutes. Trying to figure I did not make it an easy process to get in there. And this this is the pumpkin pie stall. <laughs> Where you buy pumpkin pie. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make that. That was oh, rubbing against the tub. I'm sitting on my tub. And that's just my arm squeaking. So you go up. Originally, here's the nook shop. This was where my house was. My house is buried in a nook. And then again, I flattened it, removed and stuff. Um, I was really proud of that. That's, those two design codes are my favorite. Uh, most of my design codes, I got... From Consul Cato. Uh, she's inspired a lot of stuff on the island. Uh, I get a lot of inspiration from her and design codes through her, but also through Pinterest. <coughs> she also made me obsessed with tulip fields. So this was my very first tulip field. And when you see Maple Farms, which is my actual farm, Falkor Island, you'll see that I did a lot of tulip fields. Like, way too many. Way too many. Um, yeah. And then this is me struggling just to walk. <laughs> this is my candy corn area. And they do not have a lot of candy corn custom design codes. So I used what I could find. But it's supposed to be like a little candy corn um, shop. You might candy corn themed ice cream, pie, cake, etc. And that was it, because if I walked the other way, it would have walked behind uh, the apple cider bar and where the campsite was, which you guys already saw. And then my poor attempt is showing you some, what is it called, landscaping? No, waterscaping, which is horrible. All the waterscaping I've done is just, it's just bad. And then, yeah, I thought to show you my lake. I try to show you it from a good angle using the camera, but I still don't know how to work the camera and do that whole turny thing. Like, I don't know. 
A lot of this was me trying to figure out how to use the controls too, because I'd forgotten. Here I am walking into Maple's house because I just had to see her because Maple's my favorite and I miss her so much and I my friendship was so high with her. She even called me bestie. Uh, she, and I just, I miss her. I missed her. Now I gotta start friendship all over with her again. <laughs> and she's gonna be on my metalcore island. I just haven't put her on there. Philbert, hello. And you know, we're back to where we started, you know, the honey farm and the beginning. And I, I was telling you my favorite thing to do is put the custom pass down in circles and then put flower patterns on top of them. Uh, I don't know, I just felt the need to tell you guys about that, how much I love doing that. <laughs> no real reason why. And then I'm up here walking towards the bed. And I think I'm going to cut this out because you don't need to see this. Oh, wait, I'm showing you my custom design code because I made some pride dress because in June was Pride Month and I was making a bunch of pride stuff. <coughs> Please keep in mind, these are not the greatest designs in the world but I did the best like these were my first failed designs that I've ever done like flags beach stuff um cafe things yeah here are my dresses and my shirts I was really proud of my dresses I even had them hung up in the able sisters but you can't go into the able sisters in the dream address so you can't see them unfortunately but yeah and also, I will shrink the screen in a minute again, try to adjust and fix it so you can see the code. So if you need or want any of the designs, you can still get them because they're still saved. So that's that. <coughs> I'm so sorry. <coughs> I am so sorry about all the coughing. I wish I could control it, but doing all this talking over and over again is messy with me. And now that's it. That's everything. Um, so this is where I'm going to end it. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <sighs> Good night.